Hey guys, it's Steven here with Team Covenant, and I am surrounded by probably by now some, some, some familiar faces. Uh, we have Zach, uh, Tim, and then Robert there on the corner. And uh, we're here to tell you about a really exciting thing for us. This is, uh, it's always kind of an interesting time whenever there's a new game on the horizon, and we're looking at it, and it's like, is it going to make the cut? What's going on? And this has done it. Uh, it. It is finally seen. You may have seen it sneak on the side a little bit. We we put some models on the store. Uh, but this is the grand like welcoming party, I guess, to this amazing game. And it's a game called Infinity. Um, it's a miniatures game. It's fantastic. Uh, we've really all kind of fallen in love with this thing and are building lists all the time and getting new models and trying to paint, at least talking about painting a lot. Attempting uh, to paint. Don't need to paint, but uh, this is a fantastic miniatures game, and we just want to tell you a little bit about it, and then kind of tell you our plans with it going into the future. Uh, so for me, I kind of the reason this game originally appealed to me is, you know, whenever we're looking for a new game, it has to it has to kind of break out of boundaries, right? There's there's got to be a new mechanic or something that the game is doing that really sets it apart from the pack. And uh, you know we like spoils. Um, you know the other games that are that are here on the site. And one of the big things that Infinity did for me was keeping both players actively engaged in the game at all times. And uh, having a reactive player basically during the game where if you're crossing my line of fire, I can take a shot at you. Positioning super important, cover super important. But most importantly, it's not me taking a turn for 10 minutes and then my opponent taking a turn for 10 minutes and just going back and forth and it's kind of like, you know, when you're not activating your stuff or, or moving around, it's like, all right, you're just sitting here and kind of taking things in. But in Infinity, it's super intense. Your heart's always racing because you always have to be on it. You know, you, you have to be in the game. You have to be paying attention because, you know, the second a model goes by and you, you're not paying attention and you don't get that reaction, that could be the difference in the game. So... Uh, that's one of the things that really caught my eye. And then, who else has some? Zach, you've got, I'm sure, some some thoughts on Infinity, right? I do. The, the thing that initially attracted me to the game, and what does a lot of games, actually, is the way the game looks. Um, and this is a, a balance of style and, like, the flavor of the game. So it's set in a very, I don't know, sci-fi sci vibe mm -hmm, sure. um, setting. And then you actually get the models in your hand, and they are just gorgeous. They're Really great looking models, a lot of detail, and uh, the way they end up looking is actually only limited by the painter um, because the detail Fairly is there. Very limiting, it turns out. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes with some of us. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's really a matter of how good you are at painting. And you, what's cool about the models is, you know, even a decent painter can make them look pretty good just because of the details there. If you know how to do some basic shading, some basic highlights, like the model's not going to look bad because it's just a, a very well made model. Yeah, the modeling's excellent. Uh, my second favorite part of the game, and then Whoa, a lot two. of people talk. I too. <laughs> two, um, two. Obviously, I love the arrow where you get to kind of be involved the whole time. That's would have probably been the first thing I mentioned. But other than that, uh, the, the second thing I would mention is, uh, you know, I've played a lot of miniatures games, and somehow you end up with like a million things that you need to bring to the table, and it's like, oh, I have an army, and it's got fifty models in it, and right, you have to spend right. all the time putting it together and painting and all that kind of stuff. Um, what I love about this is the you know my average army or force at this point has been seven to ten models, so I can literally in a box this big, this little building um, carry my entire army, uh, which is super nice, especially if you go to big big events and you play more than one game. Uh, you know to play some of the games we played in the past, you would just have to take massive bags, and now just super clean, super simple, and sort of like the whole game itself. It's really yeah, well thought out and clean. But it's a low model count, which I actually really appreciate. And it's cheaper to get into. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what about you, Tim? Uh, or Robert? Or do you, either of you? Uh... My, my absolute favorite part of the game is how tactically real it feels. Like, whenever I'm playing the game, I feel like I'm doing things that would actually be happening during a battle. So it's like I have a guy covering this guy who's walking around the corner who might get shot, but this guy yeah, is yeah. ready to, to protect him. As, you know, <laughs> it, it feels really cinematic at the end of the day. It's very... Oh, this is not. I'm gonna scoot through your army barely out of your range the entire way and then kill your your leader. That doesn't happen in this because you're just gonna be like, poke, <laughs> or shoot, or shoot. <laughs> yeah, if you can see him, I mean, it's like it's it's hard to. I, I guess that that line of I, it's not really cheesiness necessarily, but like kind of bending the rules, you know, <laughs> in a way that doesn't really make sense that models would do. Um, I, ha I certainly there's always gonna be some of that, but in Infinity, it feels like. 
you're you're doing what real like on the but ground I mean, tactical forces would do. When you yeah. do that, it's more strategic or tactical decisions, right? It's not like like if you're hiding on the outskirts, that's a, a strategy, um, but it's it's different. And the fact that I can't just sneak around the back and kill one dude and win, sure it works, but like you're just gonna get picked off if you like it's a lot as far as like real militaristic like strategy of groups and like moving at the same time and cover and positioning Covering and each like other. really it's it's interesting like the strategic level and then you add in which we haven't gotten to that yet but the, the whole like tournament system and how that works and it gets pretty yeah. crazy all right Robert, what about i hope you say something about the story i don't want to preempt you but <laughs> well uh the thing that i really enjoy about this game is that it's as zach mentioned set in a futuristic world but they do it in a really uh great way in that uh well at least for me personally if i'm going to play a game and get into it i have to get into it and there has to be something that allows me to empathize with whatever it is i'm playing with so in this game they have taken our history and then adapted it in a plausible way uh, so that you can not really have to suspend your disbelief so much that it's just like oh man it's crazy sci-fi what's going on mm -hmm. but it's like oh no this is all plausible you'll recognize a lot of the classic themes of like you know economic political and just flat-out military struggle but uh, in a way that you're just, you're invested. It's like, oh man, I'm playing for Pan Ocean and I want them to succeed because, man, if Eugene gets the upper hand, you know, it's going to be absolutely awful. Or if the combined army wins, it's going to be awful. It's like, yeah. you know, you, you want to get into the flavor and you're, you're invested in your force and it's just a lot of fun so that when you do win and even when you lose, uh, it feels that much more either awesome or crushing, which can be great <laughs> on both ends of the spectrum. <laughs> for sure. For sure. So, I mean, it, it, some of the bases of the game, just so you guys can get an idea, if you've never heard of Infinity before, it is, like we said, kind of a sci-fi miniatures game. But you, rather than like moving everything once or something, basically every model you have on the table gives you an order. And then you use those orders and you spin them to do stuff with models. But the key is that like you can spend five consecutive orders on the same guy. Like he can go kind of Rambo style if there's an objective that really needs to be accomplished and all your other guys are staying still. So you can imagine that whenever you have all these models on the table and you can use any of them at any time basically, like the tactical options there are immense. So there's just important things to consider on every every order, every turn, and it's just really slick. Well, I think that's what really produces the cinematic feel where you know, if you're watching a movie or something, right? They, it's kind of tough to show a big battle all at once. Uh, but if you're watching and you have this guy over here, run, like they, these two little groups run into each other and both player, all of their orders are going to that little fight, you might have half your, both your armies over here doing nothing yeah. because this is going on. But then that happens and it kind of plays itself out and then all of a sudden, oh yeah, there's this half of the game that's going on too. It's like a matter of focus. You like zoom in on little totally. things that are happening and it produces some really cinematic results. And uh, I, I can't not mention uh, my absolute favorite thing about the game, which is that you get to use D20s, which, you know, anyone who, I guess, started their gaming career with Dungeons and Dragons, uh, pretty much exclusively Dungeons and Dragons, I think it is the 20 sided dice game. Uh, you probably still have some really cool, like, old D20s that, you know, you're attached to, or maybe you've got some new ones. Like, all the coolest dice are always D20s, That's because right. people who are willing to take it to the next level want to do it with D20s. Uh, and that's just great. I mean, it just allows you to use these awesome dice. And if you don't like D20s, well, I mean, it's just 20-sided dice to you. But to those of us who are attached to D20s, <laughs> I, think it's a, I think it's a really cool D20 system, though. Yeah. Like, it's not the, it's I need to roll a 20. 20. I need a 20. Yeah. This is the best. Like, the lower, <laughs> the better, in yeah, a sense. Yeah. Right. So that's... Well, I mean, and, yeah, well, it depends on your stats, too, right? Yeah. Because the bad. higher, under a certain parameter. But it, It's just not... 20 is usually bad. Mm -hmm. You don't want 20s because you're, yeah. you're usually going to fail the roll. Yeah. And, and I think that's a unique thing. Sure one, one of the <laughs> things I wanted to mention, you guys were talking about you know, the tactical feel and that this is a, a smaller scale game, not as many figures, that kind of thing. That even plays into the flavor of the game itself in that this is set in the future. They're doing a lot of interstellar travel and transporting big armies is disastrously expensive. So why aren't you fielding big armies in the future? Well, because it costs so much money, so we'll rather invest in giving them awesome technical high-tech gear rather than trying to drop 10,000 dudes here and make it happen. For sure, yeah. 
So those are just some reasons that uh, you know all of us have kind of taken to Infinity. Like I said, this is a long process. We've we're always looking at games, always trying demos, and we went through a bunch of miniatures games and tried them out. And like the second that this hit the table, it was just kind of a, a wake up call. I think everyone had that feeling of this is it, and that's why. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why, and there's a lot more uh, why this game is awesome, and we'd love to tell you all about it. But we don't want the video to be you know 20 hours long. <laughs> However. Uh, I do have one thing to do add. Do you want it to be 20 hours long? <laughs> yes. No, I have, I have to say this. Um, it's important when you're getting into a game to realize this. Uh, it's made by a company called Corvus Belly, um, who we have a lot of respect for. You can just tell by the way they handle themselves online and the way they're releasing products that they have a lot of excitement for this game. They love what they're yeah. doing. And they're consistently releasing new things, new tournament rules, new models, new everything. New army builder. Uh, they had an awesome army builder our online. Awesome army builder. Like, all the stats online. Downloadable rule yeah. book on their website. They're just doing things awesome. Yeah. Uh, so that is also one thing we heavily look at when we're picking up a game. Yeah, and the course well, just knows they have a great game. So like, <coughs> they don't have to like hide and be weird or anything. It's like, yeah, download it, you know? Like, try it out. We know it'll hook you, yeah. so you can have it <laughs> Uh, but what we did want to say is like, so what does this mean for us and for Infinity and what you can expect from us on the YouTube channel or just on the site or whatever? Uh, and it's going to be the exact same level of coverage that you have come to know, like Netrunner and Game of Thrones and the card games. Uh, we're going to be rolling out with some tournament reports for Infinity, which would be awesome because, you know, any miniatures game, you learn the rules. But you don't really know the rules for about 10 years. Uh, and that's just the way that it is. Infinity is pretty good so far. Um, the basics have been pretty clear. And you can you can really get a lot done with the basic rule set. And then there's always the weird stuff like if I'm bouncing a grenade off a wall and it you know it hits a mine, then like what happens? Those kinds of things. And that just comes with experience. Uh, but you can expect you know tournament coverage, video reports, uh, reviews of like new models. We're, we're really diving in and trying to be competitive. And we have a lot of catching up to do. Um, but we'll get there for sure, and um, we're, we're experimenting a lot of content that we could potentially release for a miniatures game that we haven't really ever played with before. So that'll be exceptionally fun, and the things we can do with it on a tabletop and kind of show off the game in action, what that looks like, and if you've seen uh, the Netrunner or the, the Thrones Battle Reports, then there's just, when there's moving pieces like miniatures, there's a lot of fantastic options there. So. Um, that's really what you can expect from us in Infinity, and of course, more than uh, maybe anything, is having the product on the site. So, uh, on our store, teamcovenant.com slash store, uh, we have slowly been building our stock of Infinity. One of the frustrating things whenever we got into the game was like, I looked online and I couldn't find any way to buy these miniatures. Like, everywhere was sold out, they didn't have what I wanted. Um, so we're going to hopefully you know, solve that issue right here. Um, we've got a really reliable source for that, and we're going to be building our stock up even more and uh, really just sell Infinity like we sell everything else with a lot of passion and a lot of uh, care about the product. So, um, Anyone else have anything else to add to that? I Give it a, a try. Did a good job? Okay, try yeah. Infinity, for sure. Try out Infinity. Um, we're, we're trying to think of like some things that we can do to make it really easy for new players to jump in, uh, especially because of terrain like... Uh, you'll read it a thousand times. If you read anything about Infinity, you need a thousand pieces of terrain to make the game really work. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need even more on this table probably than we have. So we're looking at solutions to that, but in the meantime, get some cardboard boxes, You know, get your cereal boxes or whatever, and just go for it. Because that's what we did in the beginning, and that's nice. Um, you will see here we have the micro arts terrain, and we have some custom stuff that uh, we've done just to fill up the table. Uh, so if you're curious about what that looks like, there you go. Um, is that it? Last one, thing? One thing. That uh, I, one more. Uh, I think is important to note is that you can literally download the rulebook. Yes. And look through it. Like, yeah. Free of charge. Do that. Yeah. Download the rulebook. Read through it. Give it a shot. And then give it a shot. So thanks guys for watching. We really appreciate you taking the time to, to hear us out on this game. And uh, like I said, we're so excited about it. It's, it's in the store. We've been playing it here locally. And we hope to really spread that online. And and really make this thing, you know, take off because it deserves to. It's excellent. It's a great game. Uh, so thanks again. Uh, this is what Zach, Tim, and Robert, and myself, and we appreciate your time, and we will catch you next time.